Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Film My Run on Zwift. My name is Stephen Cousins and we are broadcasting live on Facebook and on YouTube. While we're getting everything ready, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Live YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash film my run and also Twitter at film my run and the website is www.filmmyrun.com. It's very nearly time so sit back, relax, don't forget to drop me a ride on and watch me do all the hard work. Hello, Tortoise says are we running at 10, Daz says he wants to do 9. I don't mind. I do nine and a half. Uh, welcome to the Bag That Badge episode for tonight, which is Couch to 5K. Uh, we're off in about 90 seconds. Uh, Teen is running, Tiago's running, Darren is running, John Farrell is running, Sebastian is running, Tortoise is running, Lee is running. Uh, hello to Amy Green in the chat and Tiago in the chat and John Farrell. And um, Sebastian says this is his last run before 14 days off and oh, a trip up to Denmark. Very nice indeed. Wish I was going to Denmark. Anthony Anderson is in the chat there as well. And Sebastian says nine and a half as well. And Tina's going at nine. Daz is going at nine. Mm, oh, now I'm now I'm not sure. See, I'd quite like to get done relatively quickly, but then I don't really mind. I don't mind going at nine. Oh but no, now I'm in trouble. Lee Betts, hello Lee. Oh, I d I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Amy's going to go at nine. Okay. Let All right. Nine. It looks like the majority decision is nine. So, okay. We'll do nine. 30 seconds to go. Uh, this is Bag That Badge, Couch to 5K. Um, if you haven't got the badge, uh, good luck. Enjoy. Have fun. And I hope you get the badge at the end. I, well, you will get the badge at the end if you do, uh, if you follow the route correctly. Um, yeah, Anthony says decisions, decisions. Tiago's going to go at 10. That's all right, Tiago. Tortoise sells, I'm easy. Easy, easy. Doesn't, doesn't mind. Uh, who have we got? We had um, we had another verified runner there. Who was that? Uh, Johnson is with us. Hello, Johnson. Whittle. P. Whittle. From Sweden is a verified runner. Should I know who they are? This is the question. <laughs> Why Whittle or Weidel? Forty-one years old from Sweden, Patrick Weidel. Level fifty-two cyclist, le only level eight runner though. So, is he famous? Do you remember we had that famous TikTok TikTok star on a few weeks ago, and I had I had no idea who he was, but he's a verified runner. And when I looked him up afterwards. He was like a, a TikTok, a TikTok star. It's not this guy, is it? I don't think it is. Uh, Tina's going at half a percent incline. Like, like that makes a difference, Tina. Come on. I mean, go at one or nothing. Uh, Lee Betts is just watching tonight. She says, I'm off to watch Elton John. Oh, oh, El an Elton John tribute. Probably nearly as good, to be honest. <laughs> She says, have a good run, everyone. Thank you, Lee. Um, I've been looking at your face all day today. I've been editing the video of the Brighton Marathon today. So, uh, I've been, I mean, mostly looking at Paul's face, to be honest. But uh, Lee appears on there as well, along with Nick Dumbleton and Theo Heldorn. And uh, Debbie Colville, Harold Rushworth, Amy Green. So, uh, yeah, been doing that today and it's nearly finished. 
So hopefully, maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do um, a premiere tomorrow evening. Welcome to another exciting episode of Bag That Badge. The yellow beacon will be running at a comfortable nine kilometers per hour. Feel free to go at whatever pace you like. If you do not have this badge, keep running until it appears on the screen. Okay, so hopefully then tomorrow night, Friday evening, we'll do a premiere of the Brighton Marathon video. So that puts the pressure on me to get it done for tomorrow night, doesn't it? It should be done. It's nearly finished. It is nearly finished. Today, we are climbing the sky roads of New York. Okay, Tina says, half a percent incline makes my HR more realistic. Oh, all right, all right, I'll give you that. Well, right, Sebastian says, Tina, I didn't hear Stephen count your name for Brighton. Well, she's not actually on the video, it has to be said. We didn't see Tina on the day of the marathon. Because Tina, obviously Tina did the 10K, so she was up early. She started and finished before us. And then she was out with her friend um, eating cake and enjoying Brighton. But we didn't actually manage to catch up with uh, Tina during the day. But we did see her the day before, so it was nice. Right, there's a top down view, we're going at nine. And the course is just under 7K. Today's route is just under seven kilometers. It's like a gentle start to the weekend. I mean, nobody does any work on a Friday, do they? So Thursday night is start of the weekend. So Thursday night is virtually the start of the weekend. <laughs> uh, Tina says, it's okay, I've been on the videos plenty of times. Yeah, she doesn't need to be on any more videos. She's quite happy, Sebastian. <laughs> um, I had a very sedate um, morning this morning as well, doing the film My Run 500. I didn't put any elevation on and basically walked the whole course. I'm trying to do a taper. And of course, some of us are tapering for London Marathon. Uh, Tina's been gardening today. Very nice. Do you still use your knee protectors, Tina? Tina's got some special knee protectors for when she kneels down in the garden.
What do you mean, how do I know that? You've told me about it countless times. Dina, I have lost count of the number of times you have told me about your knee protectors. Tina has knee protectors for when she's gardening. To be honest, I think she does more gardening than running. Uh, Anthony says, I was talking to a friend of mine today who lives in Versailles and is volunteering at the Olympics. The marathon starts at 9 p.m. Wow. So this is the Olympic marathon that is open to the, well, it's kind of open to the public, uh, you, but you had to be chosen in a ballot to get in. I did not get in. Tina says, have you seen my gar- I haven't seen your garden, Tina. Well, no, I think you sh- hang on, I think you've shown us a photo of it. Possibly you were sitting. I think you've shown us photos of you sitting in your garden. Yeah, this is Anthony. Are you talking about the public marathon? Uh, John Farrell says Tina's just been riding around her garden on her electric bike. Darren, that means you are due to have a success next year. Is anybody else racing at the weekend? Question mark. Uh, Amy Green says her first marathon started at 5 p.m. I was finished by 10, finished, gone 10 p.m. when she finished. Wow. Yeah, that is late, isn't it? That is late. Sebastian, Tina brought me a gift of pampas grass when she came to my house. in so much trouble again. (laughs) Oh yes, it was the Las Vegas marathon. We needed to be dark to see all the, it needed to be dark to see all the lights. Oh, that must have been nice though, I suppose. Uh, Yeah, Sebastian did notice that I pretty much walked most of the film My Run 500 this morning. You did forget to give me tissues, Tina. You did. It's lucky that I wasn't blowing my nose on the marathon. I'm, I'm a lot less sniffly these days. It was just when I was getting over all my illnesses. But I, I have to say, I am now. 99.9% better. I'm fine now. Just a park road to go for the beacon.
We are so middle-aged, it's depressing. Do we have any teenagers on this run that I can talk to? You know, more my age group. <laughs> it's the young people I identify with. <laughs> Amy says, speak for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Amy is still is still young. She's not a teenager though, that's true. She's not a teenager. On the live stream, Amy is trying to convince me she is a teenager. Anthony says, are you using Snapchat for the young people? Uh, that and TikTok, Anthony, yes. TikTok and Snapchat are my favourite social media platforms. How about you? Question mark. Uh, John Farrell says he's a young pensioner. That counts. It's got the word young in it. <laughs> Instagram and Facebook for Sebastian. I also like to use MySpace and Ask Jeeves. Tiago likes Instagram. Oh my goodness. Amy Green did a Zwift bike ride this morning and won a hat. So she might try again for headphones. Good for you. Uh, Torsa says, I'm a teenager if you half my age. Tina still has a landline. Tina still has a landline, question mark. Tina still has a landline, question mark, exclamation mark. What is a landline, Tina, question mark? To be honest, we did only get rid of our landline last year. So, yeah, we are we do not have a landline anymore. But um we not until last year. Tortoise still has a twirly dial phone. Do you remember the campaign to get the emergency number changed to 111, question mark. Because 999 took too long on a twirly dial phone. Tina says, I'm far too young to remember that. Right, I am determined 
to get a teenager to run with us before the year is out. We are all far too old for this. <laughs> BT are turning them all off in favour of digital. Oh, OK, yes. You're right, they are, aren't they? So nobody will have a, one of the old-fashioned landlines. I think Steve Smith was quite young. And yes, Byron from Running For My Dream. <laughs> yeah, so we do, he, yeah, we do have teenagers. We do have teenagers. Oh yes, and my daughter. Yes, but my daughter was far too embarrassed to be on the live stream. Right, we've been running for uh, nearly 20 minutes and um, we're coming up to 3K by Anthony. She was embarrassed by me. She doesn't want to be seen. She's 14. She doesn't want to be seen on a live stream with her dad. I have been thinking this also, Tortoise. But my main concern at the moment is the wheelchair getting caught in the belt of the treadmill. And then my tartan blanket gets caught in the wheel. <laughs> uh, good evening, Paul Hayward. How are you? Nice of you to join us. You've missed all the chat about being old. Although we may well carry it on a bit longer now that you're here. <laughs> Anthony says, is my tartan blanket a heated one? What? A heated tartan blanket? Are you some kind of future man? What, what do you mean a heated tartan? I just have a standard old tartan blanket that I've had for years to wrap around my heated a blanket heated garlic bread garlic and bread uh, Paul did a wicked outdoor 10k run today uh, Tina did you just use the word wicked like a young person uh, Paul Howard says yes been outside for a run this afternoon well done Paul good for you good for you that is dangerous. Future man. It was all I could think of. <laughs> future man. Are you some kind of future man? He is now claiming she's young. 
Don't make me fall off my treadmill, Tina. Patrick, I am sorry about the regulars on here. I said, don't let, don't make me fall off my treadmill. Tina says, I live just to do that. You would love it. You and Sarah Jacobson would absolutely love it if I fell off the treadmill one time, wouldn't you? That would make your day. Right, Anthony says, apparently you can blub, you can buy heated blankets now. Well, what a what a world we live in. What a modern age. Heated blankets. Incredible. A tortoise is suggesting that Tina rams a garden bamboo cane through my wheelchair spokes. Uh, Tina says, my dad has a heated blanket. <sighs> heated blanket, which you, yeah, dad says you have to hang it in front of the fire with three bars on. I miss the days of putting three bars on the fire. <laughs> right, no. Uh, Anthony does not have a heated blanket, he says. In the days when I didn't have to worry about the electricity bill, comma, three bars was the dream. By the way, Tortoise, you are still not winning any friends by flashing those headphones around. <laughs> uh, Tina says, bars? We still burn coal and wood. Tina, do you do that in black and white or colour? Question mark. Uh, <laughs> Anthony says he hasn't got a heated blanket. He may be old, but he's not ancient. Uh, Tina says she doesn't do it in black and white or colour. She does it in sepia from 1895. Ah, you must have an 1895 TV. <laughs> I must say I do like this nine kilometers an hour pace. Can I do this in London on Sunday, please? Question mark.
Marathon pace, 9 kph. What do you think? <laughs> Amy Green says, certainly not. <laughs> Heart rate currently 116 beats per minute. I could quite happily run with a heart rate of 116 beats per minute. Uh, Lee's heart rate is 167. Tina reckons hers is 234. 200 and Sebastian's is 234. Classic Sabina. Classic Sabina for both Sebastian and Tina to be, to, uh, their heart rate is 134, both of them, but they both typed 234. 149 for Tiago, he is going a bit faster than us. Daz is 143. Tortoise is 117. Sabina. <laughs> Hilarious. That was hilarious. Both of you typing 234. Uh, Paul Hayward wants to know what your blood pressure is, uh, Sebastian. I don't know why you would know that. Tina, are you not using voice to text like all the cool kids? Question mark. Tina only sometimes uses uh, voice to text. To be fair, to be fair, I sometimes type as well. I have to say, I have to be honest. Sometimes I do type, but I bite my fingernails, so it's fine. I don't have to mash the keys with my massive long fingernails. I do hope everyone is enjoying the run, despite the mayhem in the chat. Uh, Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, says John Farrell. Uh, I imagine that has been spoken. Let's see. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. It worked. <laughs> now try saying the Arc de Triomphe. Or Sean's Elise. Now, now try saying Sean's Elise. Right, who was that just said? Tina said Sean's Elise. No way. No way. Did that, did that actually work, Tina? Let me try mine again. Tom's Elise. Champs Elise. Right, you have to say champ, yeah, you have to say champs Elise, don't you? <laughs> So you either say it correctly and it comes out wrong, or you sound like an idiot and it comes out right. What's the Geordie version? Champs Elise. 
Chamsalisi. <laughs> Super color, fragilistic, expialidocious. Why I man? <laughs> when the board comes in. Oh no, right, Lee's on. No, right, we have to stop. Lee, Lee's annoyed. Oh, hang on, we've annoyed Lee Riby. Uh, that typing didn't come out very well, did it? Sorry, Lee. My Geordie accent is class. Uh, Tors has lived in Newcastle for just over a year when he was a kid. Lived and loved. Loved Newcastle and lived Newcastle. <laughs> Sebastian, you speak better English than most of us. When Lee was a, when sorry when Tortoise was a child, he had the Mickey taken out of him for being posh in Newcastle. One mile remaining for the Yellow Beacon group. If you are approaching the end, well done and thank you for running with us today. <sighs> Everyone is always welcome here. We are a friendly bunch and we'd love to see you again next week. Uh, hello, Marius. He's watching us. You're the best. Let's go, he says. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marius. And Isabella as well. Mario and Isabella. So, yeah, less than a mile to go now, running around the reservoir in New York. It's been a bit of a crazy chat in game and online on the uh, Zwift Run channel and in the Zwift game. It's uh, sometimes difficult to keep tabs on everything that's going on, but um, we've managed to tonight. So tomorrow, I'm not sure, maybe we'll do about half an hour of the um, Zwift long distance runners recovery hour. Um, I'm trying to taper, so London Marathon on Sunday, so I don't really want to do much tomorrow. I think I will run about 30 minutes of the ZLDR recovery hour tomorrow. If anyone would like to join for that, you are most welcome. Tina's having the day off tomorrow. Uh, Amy Green says, someone commented on my TikTok and they said they just started using Zwift to help with running on the treadmill. Excellent. Did you reply to them, Tina? Uh, Amy? Did you encourage them? Did you send them our way? Tell them to come and 
join in our runs and watch the live stream. Portis is going to Brighton tomorrow. Sebastian's got two weeks off. I'm running on my own tomorrow then. Uh, Anthony says, good luck in London to whoever is running. Yeah, absolutely. Good luck. Anyone who's running London Marathon on Sunday, good luck. Enjoy. And the only other question is, now that we've managed to get Manchester City and Arsenal knocked out of the Champions League, can Liverpool score four goals tonight away to Atlanta, to Atalanta in Italy and get through to the Europa League semi-finals? Unlikely, I'd have said, but we can give it a go. So I shall be watching that after my shower this evening. Lee thinks we will. Sebastian, I'm going to attempt three hours, 15 minutes, but I really don't know if I am fit enough. As you know, I am nowhere near as fit as I was last year. Yes, Paul Deering is going to run it as well. Paul Deering will be in London. Uh, Torsi says, belief gets you across the line. Self-belief, self-confidence, and uh, strong mindset is 90% of it. I will be going to a meal with Emma and Cecile on Saturday. Hayward says uh, his friend who is currently running the marathon de Saab in the Sahara is interested in Zwift. She's just about to complete day four. Temperature is currently 35 degrees, which actually for the Sahara is not too bad, is it really? Uh, Tortoise says, hope you have a great day. Thank you very much. Uh, I see, uh, he says, if he's not back for uh, tomorrow, have a good run in London. Thank you very much. Tortoise. So if I do not see you tomorrow, I will be back with the Z. Oh no. says, what is your PB in the marathon? Um, I did that last year, Mario, at 2.55. Two hours 55 last year in the Paris marathon. Uh, but as I've been explaining, nowhere near that fit this year. I've had lots of illness, so I haven't been able to train. And in order to get that kind of time, 2.55, I need to have the best training possible. So, uh, we, I won't be doing that time, that's for sure. <laughs> 
So we'll release the Brighton Marathon video on the Film My Run channel. So that's not this channel, but on the Film My Run channel, we'll do a premiere of the Brighton Marathon video on Film My Run tomorrow evening. Thank you so much for running with me today. As always, I really appreciate your support of the FMR Club. And also your support of Bag That Badge. Uh, Tortoise, yeah, should be okay. I might hobble around a little bit, but um, it'll be a recovery run just nice and slowly on Monday, I think. I mean, it depends how tired I am. But I'll try. I'll try and do Monday. Tina says he's not like us mortals. Well, do you know what, though? I didn't run off after the Brighton Marathon. Monday after the Brighton Marathon, I was too tired. So we'll see what happens. Amy Green says, thank you. Paul Hayward says, good work, everyone. Tiago, thanks for joining. Tiago says, well done. John Farrell says, thanks, Stephen, and all. Anthony Anderson says, well done, everyone. Sebastian, thanks, everyone. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much for today. It's been enjoyable. Always good banter, always good fun. Darren Van Dit, thanks for the ride on. Cheers, Darren. And we're just coming up to the end. And it's time for a shower and some dinner. And then watch the football. Thanks for a great run, says Tortoise. We'll see you all tomorrow for a very short one. Half an hour. Just half an hour, I think, tomorrow at the ZLDR um, recovery hour. Uh, take care, everyone. Uh, thanks very much. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.